Hello and welcome back to our channel. As you can see in this module, we will talk about NG Spice, which is a free circuit simulator. In other words, we call it as an open source Spice simulator. Okay, so it is basically a mixed mode level circuit simulator. It means you can simulate analog circuits, digital circuits and the combination of both analog and digital so basically it's an open source uh, spice simulator that is used to simulate electric and electronic circuits so what are the devices and the components that you have while simulation you can have jfets like uh, junction field effect transistors bipolar junction transistor mos transistor that is mosfets you can use register, capacitor, inductors, and the diodes, and even transmission lines and so many other devices, okay? So when you actually design a circuit using these components and the devices, you basically write a netlist, so which is a textual description about, explaining about how your devices and the components are interconnected together. So NGSPICE, uses a netlist as an input for the simulation okay so as i said you can have uh, digital circuits uh, for the simulation you can have uh, uh, digital circuits from simple gates to the complex circuits and then you can have a combination of both analog and digital as well okay so when you actually start writing your netlist using different components and the devices and netlist is just a description of how these devices and the components are interconnected together and after their interconnection defining you have to write their model parameters of the devices or the components so ng spice offers wealth of device models for active passive analog and digital elements and those model parameters come from the semiconductor device manufacturers. So for example, you use the diode here, you use the transistor. So there are manufacturers in the industry who manufactures those components and the devices. So those manufacturers provides device model parameters that you put up in your netlist. Also, if you are talking about designing and simulating an integrated circuit, so semiconductor foundries give those model parameters, okay? So what you do as a user, you add your circuit as an at least as shown right here. And when you simulate, click run here, you get the output in the form of a graph, which is about, let's say, the currents in the circuit. You can have the voltages in the circuit. You can plot all these parameters, okay? and voltage, current, power, and some other quantities you can plot. So such a data is then saved in a data file, okay? Now, uh, like I said, ng-spice is a netlist or a command line or file based as shown right here. You And then it plots the output in the form of a graph. It doesn't have a schematic entry for that you need to refer some other third part party interfaces such as keycad so you can click here and see what interfaces are available if you want to if you don't want to write your netlist just draw the schematic instead you can use third party tools such as keycad etc and all that so you see here this is the netlist this is the analysis that has been defined we will cover that in more detail in the subsequent modules then you have like uh, some control parameters and then uh, you end the netlist with the dot end command okay and these are the model parameters uh, for the devices used this is an output graph here and when your results are done you have some instruction and the output file generated okay so uh, this is the very basic page or the website or the home page of the ng-spice website you just type a google on the google you just type ng-spice and you will come to uh, know about this web page okay so ng-spice is spice compatible it means if you use other spice tools such as p spice or lt spice and you use the device model parameter from these tools 
then they are compatible uh, with the uh, uh, ng-spice, okay? So uh, you may apply the spice and LT spice device model parameters and at least for simulating discrete circuit. How about integrated circuit design and simulating? So for example, H spice is a spice simulator to simulate integrated circuits. So you can have H spice device libraries obtained from the semiconductor foundry uh, process design kits for simulating your integrated circuits. So ng spice will read that libraries of H spice. Okay. So now how to use the ng spice? If you use like uh, MS Windows as an operating system, you can use the source code and the binaries. Uh, it is available right here. We will see how to download that in the next module. And then if you use the Linux, uh, uh, then you can also, it also offer ng-spice as well, okay? And if you use the Mac OS, then you can click this link, okay? There is a lot of frequently asked questions and documentation that provides a lot of information about uh, ng-spice, how to use it, what it is and its features. There is also manual, you can click right over. There is a mailing list, distribution, discussion forums, and bug trackers as well. So there are videos also besides our video. You can also check out some of the videos, okay? So don't hesitate to use it. Uh, if you are new to SPICE and any SPICE, and you will benefit from its robustness and flexibility. It is equally very robust and useful for the professionals in the semiconductor industry. So hope you found this module useful. You can click all the links you want right here and get more details and understanding about ng-spice. Similarly, here you can click on the tutorial what ng-spice is and all those things. Okay, so with that, uh, stay tuned for more informative modules like this. Until then, wish you happy learning.